Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Now, as you can see, I am rocking my natural hair. But let me tell you, a month ago, this almost didn't happen. I was this close to buying relaxer and ending my journey. Because as my hair got longer, no matter what I did to it, it never looked as good as the ladies on YouTube. I mean, I thought we all had the same type of hair. You know, I put mousse in my hair. I didn't get little bouncy curls, you know. Um, they all talked about never putting heat into their hair. The best I could get would be some waves, you know. And if I actually tried to curl my hair because of the humidity, it'd be dead in like three hours. So, yeah, I was at my wit's end. And then I found the woman who saved my journey. I'm going to introduce you to her a little bit later. But the thing that stopped me in high tracks when I, you know how you scroll, when I came to her video was because she looked like me. She looked like a, what I call, traditional African American woman. She had the black girl nose, she had black girl hair, and I am so glad that I stopped to listen to one of her videos. Now I also met another woman online that broke my heart and unfortunately just listening to her she has never really been able to find her place of comfort with her hair and her black girl features but I think society has done that and while there are times when I do hate my hair I've never hated myself you know so let me show you this video you know it's not the same. White women bleaching their hair or straightening their hair is not the same as what we do. And I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. So I know the sister's gonna pretend they don't understand what I'm saying. This woman talked about how she had a head full of natural hair. Most black women do not have long hair. They do not have long natural hair. Black hair does not grow. It does not grow at the same uh, speed as other races. If you are one of the unicorns where you, you can cut your hair uh, one day and in two months or three months, you got inches, you you know you're a rare breed. When we cut our hair, that's it. It's going to take a little while for it to grow. Damage or undamaged? Drinking water or not drinking water? Why do you think one of the major ways to make money is to sell black women growth oils? Even from Madam C.J. Walker to right now, you want to make a quick buck, sell a growth oil. Our hair does not grow like that. It doesn't. And I'm going to go here. I, I do not look feminine with natural hair. Then coupled with the fact that the hair doesn't grow as fast. Uh-uh. No. Some women have the confidence. They have the beauty to be able to pull off a short natural. I do not. I do not. And I think most black women do not. They do not. And for a lot of, I know me, I feel prettier with wigs or straight hair. I feel prettier. I feel more feminine with hair, wearing hair that mimics another race of people. And I know that's a shame. And I know that's some internalized self-hate. But listen, my eyes aren't fooling me. I don't look, okay? I don't look that good in any style. But definitely when my hair looks what it looks like, natural. You know how some men, black men, they like a woman natural in theory. But if you put her side by side with a woman with a wig, they would, they would choose a woman with a wig. I think a lot of black women are on that type of tip. We like our hair natural in theory. You know, we should like it in theory. We like it better on somebody else, but when it comes to us, we do not look feminine. You know, we do not look fem We do not look pretty. And the black community knows that we have that. We have those self-esteem issues. The black, black men and black women, they know we have these insecurities around our hair. And instead of letting us be great, what do they do? Taunt and pit and knowing, knowing everything that we're going through. Knowing that 
for, for real, for real, I don't want to wear straight. I don't want to wear straight hair, but I don't look good with my natural hair. And the natural wigs, they look like, you know, who done it and why? I'm not trying to go to work looking like Mufasa. So I'm sorry if I let the cat out of the bag and I explain too much, but this is, this is it. And y'all need to stop. Listen, it'll never change. It'll never change. Okay, so y'all can y'all can harass us. You can belittle us. You can talk about the hard wig versus the soft wig, X, Y, and Z. We don't care. We don't care. Y'all can put it to bed. Y'all not. The black community thrives off of abuse. We, the black community thrives off of abuse and trauma. Okay, and so, you know, it is what it is. That was a lot. And I am not going to say that she was completely wrong because she did have some points. If you're if you don't know how to manage your natural hair, then of course you're going to feel that way. I mean, a month ago I almost put a relaxer in because I was so frustrated with my hair. So I, I get what she's what she's saying in a way. And I also think she was correct when she said market anything that has to do with hair growth to a black woman and she will buy. I think that's I think that's a fair statement. It doesn't matter whether you choose to wear your hair um, natural or wig or weave or braids. It's mostly a matter of finding something that you feel good in. Uh, if you're going to wear a wig, then find a wig that is a good cut for you. I don't think, I don't think that was a good cut for her. But I think that she is angry and I think she's hurt. More than anything, she's hurt. And, and you know, we as, as, um, black women sure I mean I'm still going to be upset if you you know mean to me or rude to me or just disrespectful to me as a cashier at the grocery store but overall I mean we have to we have to be nicer to each other somebody should have taken that woman under their wing and say you know what babe if you don't want to wear your natural hair that's fine but let's go find you a wig that looks really good on you because that wasn't the right wig and at this point she is so done with the whole thing I don't even think she knows what looks good on her I think she's given up and to me that's really really unfortunate now, I told you that someone saved my natural hair journey. This woman here. And you know why I, I stopped at her channel? It's because there was something about her that resonated with me. There was something about her look that resonated with me. You know, um, if you see her now, if you you see her in this picture, but when she wears um, her uh, what's the word I want to say? When she wears her 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 wrap, while she's got her hair in a protective style and a little bit of lip gloss and some earrings, she looks so cute. But this woman was willing to show us her authentic self in a raw style. Okay just so she could tell you how she takes care of her hair. Now, there might be some that say, well, I'm looking at her hair and there ain't nothing she can tell me. Baby girl, you are so wrong there. Because she did like eight years and I saw this picture was eight years ago. And I think the next picture I'm gonna show you is four years later. And this woman has documented her entire journey on YouTube so you can see that it's all authentic and the way she cares for her hair gave her hair to hear 
in four freaking years. Not just hair to hair, but thick ass, thick ass, healthy looking hair. And when I saw those pictures, I started, I started going through all her videos. Because baby girl, I want to know what you're doing. Because the videos I've been following that told me if I put mousse in my hair while I was wet, I could get curls. Nope, that didn't happen. The videos I've been watching, they said, don't use hair grease, use oil. I tried that. It did nothing for me. Okay? I, I just haven't been able to get the advice I needed for my hair so I could be my most beautiful, authentic self up until the, the day I found her videos, which was one month ago. And in that month's time, my hair has grown half an inch. And that half an inch is the difference between me being able to make some ugly piglet plaits so I could, you know, plait my hair up at night and protect it to not being able to do that. And just having my hair run wild inside of a bonnet at night or trying to, to swoop it and, and having, you know, the scarf come off. In a month's time, my hair grew just enough that now I can plait ugly ass plaits. You know what? I love this woman. I absolutely love this woman. Now, the regimen she used actually made sense to me. And she told me something I really didn't, I had never really heard before. Obviously, I don't get around enough. Okay, I live in my own little world and I'm happy here. But she told me something I didn't know. I didn't know that when you wash and condition your hair, eventually you will get build up because rinsing out conditioner doesn't fully rinse out. And at some point you will have conditioner build up, product build up, things like that on your scalp. And if your scalp is clogged up with that kind of stuff, then the secretion, which I can't remember what it was called, that naturally comes out of your scalp cannot come out into your hair because it's that secretion that makes your hair grow. I didn't know that. It made sense to me. And she was talking about, you know, a clarifying shampoo and she uses her nails when she scrubs her scalp. I've always used my nails. I've been told recently I shouldn't do that because I might harm my scalp. I'm 64 years old and I've been scrubbing my scalp with my nails forever. And I never harmed my scalp. Just like when I was wearing my hair natural for most of my life, except for the last 10 years, because at one point my business got really busy and sitting in front of my dressing table and curling my hair every single day became undoable. That's when I started wearing braids and wigs and weaves and stuff like that. And then after I kind of semi-retired, I started just wearing a simple ponytail. That worked for me. And then I went to Amazon and I barely got time to do that then. Now I have time again, which is the reason why I really wanted to go back to natural. Because when I did my big chop two years ago, I loved my hair. And I had lost some weight because of the rheumatoid arthritis. So my face was thin enough. And I loved my hair short, even put a little color in it. But I had the hardest time maintaining it. I couldn't even get an appointment at the barbershop because we only got one black barbershop here. So now I have to drive an hour or so, which I was not willing to do. So when it got to the point that I just could not really maintain it anymore, I just decided to put a relaxer in. And so I put a relaxer in last year. And then three months ago, I told you all I wanted to try natural again. Well, that's because it was actually time for my new relaxer, and I had been putting it off. So really, I had been five months, you know, when I needed a relaxer, and I said, look, let's, let's, try, um, let's try natural. And then I, I broke off the top of my hair because, you know, really my hair wasn't long enough for a ponytail, and I was gluing that baby up. And because I had, like, that much hair, once I put my hair up in a band, holy crap, I had to really claw that ponytail on. That's how I broke my hair off. But over the last three months since I have not been doing that,
too much and my hair has been growing a little bit more and more and more as you can see where it was thin has, has filled back out again and now I have enough hair in a ponytail that I have something to clamp that ponytail on and not just claw it into my head so finding her a month ago when I was kinda at my wits end because the hair, my hair was getting so long to the point, I still couldn't plait it, but it was still at that point where I really didn't know what to do with it. And it would still look really good other than tie it up. She made me see something I didn't understand. So yeah, you know, I didn't have a clarifying shampoo, so I used some Dawn. I certainly did. I lathered up my hair put a bag on it, let it sit for three minutes, and I used my nails through that bag and the hell out of my head. You know what? I did it for like 10 minutes because normally I'm at the sink. I only do it for two minutes. So I'm in the shower. I do it for two minutes. I'm sitting down with a bag on my head and nothing's dripping. Now I got 10 minutes. <sighs> Took it off. She had already warned us that when you use a clarifying whatever your hair is going to be kind of brittle so be careful with it when you put your deep clean in I did that and as soon as I got that that conditioner worked through my hair it slipped so now I could just easily comb use a big tooth comb and comb the conditioner through my hair put another bag on it let it stay for 20 minutes went ahead and blow dried it you know oh sorry put on a leave-in conditioner first to help you know protect my hair from blow drying blow dried it till it was not quite dry so it was still wet in my scalp put some olive oil hair grease on my fingertips rubbed it through my hair finished blow drying it out till it was dry then put a gob of hair grease in my hands and Did my little ugly pig, pig um, plaits, clipped them up, put my bonnet on. This morning, got up and curled my hair. Now, this woman washes her hair twice a week. You know what? I started doing that too. But she only does a clarifying shampoo once a month. Now, I did my first clarifying shampoo with my Dawn when I first found her. Yesterday, I did my second clarifying shampoo because it's been a month but in all honesty I feel like I can probably go two weeks I mean two months or six weeks before I have to do another clarifying shampoo but all the other shampoos in between I only use regular shampoo I just feel like getting the buildup off my hair and using my nails really opened up my pores because for me to grow a half an inch in a month's time is a lot for me. I mean, it's a lot for me. So no, I love this woman. And I wish that that woman that did the video, that she hates herself and her hair, I hope she finds somebody in her life that can, that can be basically an inspiration to her to the way this woman inspired me. I don't expect to get growth like that, but if I can just get here in the next year, I consider it a success. But even if it takes longer, I love, I like my hair. And I think I look beautiful. Maybe I could have did a better curl job, you know, but you know, I gotta go to the grocery store today. And I wanted to make this video. But I think I look beautiful with my natural hair. And I only hope that that woman in that other video, something happens or someone comes into her life to show her she has beauty too. You just have to figure out what works for you. So I guess that's it. Um, and I wanted to share that with you. You all take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.